Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shubha Nikam. In this video, I will talk about entity and architecture in VHDL. But before that, I request you all to subscribe to my channel. And at the end, if you feel this video was really helpful, then like and share it with your friends. So, before we start entity and architecture, the other things like libraries, packages, VHDL attributes, data types, data objects are already explained and the videos are uploaded on the channel. The links are given in the description box. So, here we will start with entity. So, entity. Okay, so before we go into technical terms, let me tell you design. Uh, suppose, imagine you are designing a gaming controller. So, which buttons it has? It has A, B, X, Y, the joystick. That's the interface. So, entity is like the list of buttons. It tells you what is connected. It tells us about inputs and outputs. Whereas, what happens inside the controller when you press the buttons? That entity doesn't tell us. That architecture tells us. Us. So, in technical terms, technically, what we can say, entity is a block in VHDL which is used to declare all the input and output ports of your circuit. So, the externally available buttons, externally available inputs and outputs we declare in entity. And architecture is where we write what happens inside a system. So, entity tells you, tells you what is the, uh, 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 how many buttons are there, which buttons are there and architecture tells us the, how my circuit is working. So, let's take a simple example of half adder. What it has? It has two inputs. Inputs are A and b and it has two outputs sum and carry so i'll write s for sum and c for carry so entity will tell you in my circuit it has two inputs and two outputs and architecture will tell you sum is nothing but a x or b carry is nothing but a and b so let's start with syntax for entity this is the syntax for entity. We are writing entity. So, first word is entity. Entity name. Any name you can assign. But it should start with alphabet. It can be followed by numbers. And only one special character is allowed. And that is underscore. Entity. Entity name is ports. Now, we are declaring inputs and outputs. So, inputs. Their direction is in. Or sometimes it is in out. Then data type of that input whether it is integer whether it is standard logic or bit or boolean that data type you need to mention then outputs their direction it can be out or in out and their data type end entity name and then semicolon here also after every line semicolon is mandatory so let's write an entity for this half adder circuit so i'll write it here Entity is first word. Entity name. You can assign any name. So, I will write name as H A is entity. H A is. Next is port. How many input ports I have? I have two ports A and B and both are one bit ports. So, I will write them on same line A comma B colon. They are inputs. So, direction is in and their data type is either you can write standard logic or bit. When you write bit, it has only two values 0 or 1. But when we use standard logic, then in case of standard logic, it considers weak, uh, the strong one, Weak 1, strong 0, weak 0, don't care, high impedance, everything it considers. So, when we use Xilinx software, when we write code in software, instead of bit, we use standard logic data type. So, A and B are input. So, their direction is in and data type is standard std underscore logic. Semicolon. Next is, I have two outputs. So, I will write S 
comma c colon their direction is out and their data type is again standard underscore logic now we are done with all inputs and outputs i will not put semicolon here rather i will close this bracket here bracket was started and then i'll put semicolon and your entity's name so my entity name is ha so i'll write end ha and then semicolon so in this way we write entity entity tells us how many inputs are there how many outputs are there how many what is data type of those inputs and outputs now here in my half adder both inputs were one bit uh, one bit inputs now what i'll do i'll write code for half adder which has four bit inputs so both inputs a and input b are four bits and sum is also four bits and carry is of course one bit carry so entity entity name so again i'll write name h a underscore four bits now this is not h actually this is adder any name you can assign is port now again i have two inputs input a comma input b but now they are inputs so direction is in but now their length is four bits so in standard underscore logic underscore vector 3 down to 0 semicolon and my sum is output length of my sum is 4 bits so again standard underscore logic underscore vector 3 down to 0 semicolon but my carry is of 1 bits only so here i cannot write s comma c because their lengths are different so here i'll write c it is output and data type is standard underscore logic so when lengths of inputs and outputs are different you need to write them on separate lines now we are done with all inputs and outputs so i'll close this bracket semicolon and end your entity's name semicolon so in this way we write entity so entity tells us how many inputs and outputs are there it doesn't tell us how internal circuit works architecture tells us that so let's write an architecture or let's understand what architecture is this is syntax for architecture so first word is architecture again same rules it should start with alphabet followed by numbers only one special character is allowed and remember vhdl is case insensitive so you can use you can declare uh, uppercase letter you can use uppercase letters to declare inputs and outputs and then you can use small letters in architecture that is okay so architecture architecture name of entity name is it means i am writing this architecture for this entity because when i'll write sum is assigned as a xor b then i should know what a is what data type a has what data type b has so for this entity i am writing this architecture and remember for one entity we can write multiple architectures is declarations so in declarations in entity we declare only external inputs and external outputs there are intermediate inputs and outputs also they are present so we declare those inputs in declarations part begin then we can either use concurrent or sequential statements based on the modeling style so i have uploaded separate video on modeling styles the link is given in the description box so there are three modeling styles data flow behavioral and structural and architecture name so let's see how to write an architecture i'll draw one circuit here first so this is my circuit 
it has three inputs a b c which are externally available it means i can control their value externally then x and y are intermediate inputs and outputs so i cannot declare them in entity because these switches are not externally available and y is my output so i'll start with entity when you write code you need to include libraries and packages at the top and followed by entity and then architecture but here i'll write entity directly so entity for this circuit is entity let's say circuit is name entity circuit is port a comma b comma c the direction is in and data type is standard underscore logic semicolon and output is y here you see y is out standard underscore logic bracket complete and semicolon in entity we don't consider intermediate inputs and outputs and entity name circuit semicolon now in architecture in declarations we need to declare x and y so i'll write architecture for this architecture first word is architecture i'll write name data flow you can write any name you can assign any name architecture data flow of i'm writing architecture for this circuit circuit entity name is now declaration so i need to declare x and y here so i'll declare x comma y here i don't sorry signal there are signals they are wires so we use data object signal to declare wires so signal x comma y there are two wires and their data type is standard underscore logic now c here we don't mention direction whether they are inputs or outputs by default they are inputs as well as outputs see this x is output of and gate and input to not gate so we only mention data type so signal word is important signal x comma y standard logic then begin statement begin and then concurrent and sequential statements so i'll write it here in case of concurrent statements all statements executes parallelly so here x first i'll write for x x is assigned as this is an assignment operator for signal assigned as a and b semicolon then y is assigned as not of x and then y oh i have used y here and here also i'll write y1 here y1 here and y1 here see we cannot use same names i'm so sorry y1 is assigned as not of x and then final y is assigned as y1 or c semicolon and then end your architecture name so architecture name was data flow semicolon so in this way we can write architecture in architecture 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 name generally we use modeling styles name as a architecture name but it is not mandatory you can write assign any name of entity's name so that we'll understand inputs are a b c and output is y then here we declare the intermediate inputs and outputs or wires we can say begin then concurrent statements or sequential statements based on the modeling style you are using in behavioral modeling style you need to use process statement you can use if else case statements here i have used simple statements data flow modeling and then end your architectures name so in this way we write entity and architecture here you need to mention your libraries and packages the separate video is available on the channel thank you so much for watching i hope this will be useful to you share this video with your friends and don't uh, forget to subscribe thank you so much